dual review is brought to you by spiderwolf.com. Hey guys, welcome to Dual Review. We got a great week starting off with Iron West, followed by Sound Shapes, and then for our focal point, Dungeon Roll. That's right. Our anime this week is Berserk, the Golden Age Arc 2, and our movie is Life of Pi. I'm RJ. And I'm Nick. Let's get to it. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to the 19th. We're taking a look at Iron West. That's right, and this is an Image Comics comic book created in 2006, and it was all created, both written, illustrated, and everything else by a man named uh, Doug Tenapel. And it's funny how his last name is. It's T-E-N, capital N-A-P-E-L, Tenapel, Tenapel. I don't know. Uh, and it's, so it's all self-contained. It's its own thing. It's a black and white comic, and the premise is essentially in the Old West, uh, miners who have been digging on uh, Indian ground somehow awaken these mechanoids, these robots, who come to life and decide to kill everyone, and then some weird stuff ensues. And it's it's really just a comedy piece. This one, you really can't take anything for serious. At, at some points, it breaks the, the fourth wall and knows things that people shouldn't really know. Although I guess I guess maybe you could say that they could know. Just call it that. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Um, so it's just a really weird story, and I don't want to give too much away because it is self-contained. It's very short. I think it's only 160-something pages long, uh, or 150-something. Um, but, yeah, so that's the premise. What did you think? I had a lot of fun with it. It's one of those things that, again, yeah, you don't take seriously. Uh, although on the back, you know, on the back uh, leaflet or whatever of the book, it has some pretty high praise indeed. And, and really, he's not wrong. He's saying that, you know, he was able to capture the imagination of a child and still writes that way. And also that it, it's one of those things that so many people try to mix genres uh, but fail or just do it to a certain demographic. And this is, you know, more of a, a, a nice interweaving that is, a, you know, appealing, you know, classic material possibly kind of thing. And while I don't agree that it's like a classic or anything, I don't think you have to read this. It is a fun ride and it does do that really well. It plays with the stereotype of the kind of, you know, sheriff. We're following a guy who's basically a crook, you know, yes. kind of thing. Although he does have, you know, he's a, he's a pacifist, more or less. He's just, you know, taking advantage of the people that he can, and he's a coward and all that stuff. And so he he's thrust into this weird, you know, situation where he's finding all these robots and stuff. And then, of course, there's somebody hunting for him. So he's telling them all about the robots and like, oh, good, I'm so glad you're here. You can help me fight the robots or whatever. And they're like, whatever, and, you know, knock him out, put him in jail kind of thing. Yeah. Then he has to kind of convince him. But anyway, uh, yeah, some really weird stuff happens. And again, yeah, I don't really want to give it away, uh, like you say, but... Uh, let's just say that a, you know a monster sh more than one mythical creature shows up uh robots and anybody that loves like you know transformers and stuff you you're gonna get a nod you know kind of thing and it really is just kind of a fun thing i think it's like what 153 pages or something but it reads really quick yeah. quick although it's not so quick like i think that actually the pacing is decent i never got like oh this page will never end like some of the comics that we've reviewed where it's just so much verbiage uh, I think this is a good mix of action and verbiage. I wish there was maybe a little bit more verbiage, but the characters don't really need it. They're kind of men a few words kind of thing. Um, it is kind of weird, the whole uh, cowboys and Indians. I'm not going to go farther than that. I'm not sure what the story is there and why, whatever. Yeah, I wish I wish a little more story happened, but yeah. But I love the old Indian dude. He was funny. Two Rivers, yeah. And, and uh, Sasquatch was funny, too. I guess I gave that away. Spoiler alert. Sorry. Too late. Uh, it, it is fun, and I love the graphic style. You know, yes. it's very sharp corners and lots of, you know, black, being black and white. I appreciate very much, you know, it, it could stand to be color, I guess, but there's really no need for it. No. Uh, and I love the, you know, the mechanoids or whatever they're called. I love that. I think it's just robots. And they have fun with, you know, names and whatnot. And there's still a lot unsaid, so there is kind of like, I wonder what that thing really was, and why does it, you know, like, echo what it sees, and yeah, whatever. Uh, so, yes, I, I do like it, but it is not one that, like, you must read this, go out and read it. It's just like, hey, if you're looking for something interesting and you don't mind black and white and you don't like, you know, cowboys and robots, then check it out. I'm really psyched that you like this, man. I really did not think you'd like this. I thought you'd be like, this was kind of stupid and a waste of time, but... Uh... It, it is simple enough that it's not whatever, but I think that's almost what I like about it is because it doesn't... 
I, I don't like comics that are like, oh, it's robots, look! It's robots, everybody, it's robots, you know, kind of thing. I just like, they just play it like it's real life. And then, yeah, it's weird, but they just keep going, and I appreciate that. <laughs> Good, I'm glad. I mean, yeah, I had a lot of fun reading this, and uh, I got this one because we were looking for, like, steampunk-type comic books. We were like, we don't see enough steampunk, I want to read more. So I got this one and, uh, like, several others to read. Um, and I read this one, and I was like, this is just silly, but I was trying to keep my face kind of you know, uh, taught, you know, so that when I told him about it, I didn't give anything away, like, this is supposed to be funny, or this is supposed to be serious, so I'm really glad that, you know, you, you ended up liking this, I'm, yeah, I'm jazzed. So um, you like it, then? Yes, but... yes, I thought this was great, and, and there were so many nods, nods to Transformers, nods to, you know, uh, uh, so many things that I can't give away without spoiling anything, plus it was just so out there, of course I'm gonna like it, you know, I love that kind of out there thing, and, and, uh, the main character, whose name is... Struck. Yeah, yeah. Preston Struck. He is just... He's, he's very endearing. He's so funny, dude. I mean, everything he says, like when he's... I got the whole messing with Sasquatch vibe. I wish they kind of did that. You know, like those uh, beef jerky commercials. You ever see those? Uh, yeah, I got that little vibe with him. And yes, there is a Sasquatch. I probably... Sh we shouldn't give too much away, but yes, there is. Um, but it, it's just a fun story. It's really great. And to think that this guy did it all by himself. You know, this was his thing that he took to uh, Image Comics and said, look, I have this thing. Can you can you make it? And they were like, yeah, sure. It just makes me love Image Comics so much more. Yeah, yeah, I really do appreciate that. They, they do do a lot of indie stuff. Um, I also thought it was cool that the dedication was to, like, his childhood friends. Or yeah. Whatever. So that gives it another flavor. You're not quite sure why or, you know, whatever, but it's just fun. So, yeah, I, altogether it was a very enjoyable read. Yeah, I, I think I think you should read it. I mean, I, I wouldn't go out of your way to find it, but if you happen to go to the comic shop and say, hey, look, do you have a copy of Iron West? Because I saw in this review that these guys liked it, and I just want to leaf through it and see if you like it while you're at the comic shop. I think I think you're gonna like it. I think you could buy it. If I if I, you know, if I could find it, it's gonna go on one of my uh, in my library, I should say. So yeah, I, I I like it. I do definitely think that it's one of those movies that you really enjoy. You know, Comics. like a movie that you really enjoy, but you're not like, you know, uh, a couple months later you might forget about it, but then then it'll come up again and be like, oh yeah, that one. You know, that's kind of how I you know think about it. Because hmm. um, I don't I don't think there's enough to make it stand out, but it's super enjoyable. Yeah, so, I, I wish that they expanded on on several things. <laughs> Um, for one, where did they come from? Why are they there? Why are they too fat? Well, I guess I shouldn't give that yeah, away. Yeah, yeah. Too fat? Yeah, yeah. In the sun? So, so yeah, there, there's so many things. But that's one of the things, because this is a very childhood, like, uh, um, comic, where you're immediately reminded of your childhood, because things that happen don't really make sense unless you, you know... Because to children, it makes sense. When I was younger, it made perfect sense. I wouldn't... I would... Yeah, I wouldn't put it that far, because there's nothing that is really strange... I mean, you know, the whole premise, I guess, is kind of strange, but it all, you know, it unfolds like you're watching a comedy western or like Blazing Saddles or something, I don't right. know. Right, well, there, there's the bit about the newt, right? Like, him and his father and the newt, right? And then that comes into play later. Not really, but okay. it's kind of a nod. But anyway, because I, I, guess, I guess what I would say is, like, we just reviewed Sam and Max, and, you know, you love that, I don't. But that one definitely takes a lot of license and, you know, creativity, uh, and just kind of goes in bizarre places. This one never does that. Right. So, so yeah, I mean, yes, it's it's nice that you appreciate the imagination that went into it, but it's never ex as extreme that you have to, like, suspend, you know, too much discipline, more than an average kind of science fiction movie. Right. Anyway. Yeah, I keep comparing it to movies, but that's what it's like. It's like, if you, if you come across a movie and it's like, oh, yeah, I don't remember this, and then you start watching it, like, oh, yeah, that's this one. That's how I feel this comic is going to be in my, you know, repertoire. Okay. But uh, it was very enjoyable, and I'll be happy when I remember it. <laughs> okay. So is that it? Is there anything else you want to... No, I, I think that's it, yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow our great playlist. Game Lab's been a lot of fun. Yes, it has, and please leave comments. We love comments, and you can help support us by buying our wares at spiderwolf.com. That's right. T-shirts, a car game, art, print, short stories, and more. And if you're on Facebook, so are we, so find us and friend us, and if I'm online, I will talk to you. We're both blogging as well, so you can find me, fisk37.tumblr.com, blogging as characters, releasing updates to the world I've created for 10 plus years. Take a look. If you like it, share it. Support me that way. And mine is nicholasbach.tumblr.com. It's got some short stories and poetry. If you're interested, just check that out. All right, guys. See you next time. Ah! I missed that first one. I knew I had time. Yeah. I am trying. Coming up next time, it's Sound Shapes.
on door view. Iron West sound shapes and what? Mike, I told you to stay out of frame. He names the microphones, and all I can come up with was Mike. I'm not very clever. <laughs> that arm looks like a salad bar for bugs. I didn't cock it all the way, I kind of half cocked it. <laughs> you said cock. Now say super duty. Super duty? <laughs> I always laugh when I see those trucks walking by. Super they're duty trucks? Walking truck. by. Yeah, I, I really laugh when they're walking by. It's crazy. I, I have an awesome That's like, that they're transforming. That is an awesome, you know, truck. What's it called again? Oh, it's Mike. Super duty. Super duty. Super duty. Yeah, how many did you choose? Wicked super duty. Wicked super duty.